It is the night that holds the innermost secrets of Collingwood. And now another night has fallen. And before it is over, we shall be one step closer to the dark secret behind the evil we have lived with. special kind of darkness that the night brings to Collingwood. A darkness concealing an unknown terror. Only one person, a young girl, has known the full secret of this terror. But the secret has been pushed back into a dark and forgotten corner of her troubled mind. Cold, why don't you close the window? Not the reason why I'm putting my sweater on. Well, what is it then? Pop, I've got to get out of this house before I go stark raving mad. No, you can't leave the house. It's too dangerous. Pop, if you say that once more, I'm going to scream my head off. Maggie, if you insist on being foolish, I have no other choice but to remind you of the dangers involved. Being foolish? I just want to lead a normal, active life again. I'd like to feel that I still exist. Well, it'll be over pretty soon. Won't be much longer. Pop, that's called whistling in the dark. Now, if everything continues at the rate that things have been happening, we're going to spend the rest of our lives cooped up in here. Well, that's not going to happen to me. I'm getting out of this house tonight, and you're not going to stop me. There are secrets known to one who is a shadow from the past. There are those who seek this person because her words would reveal all that has happened to an innocent girl. They seek her with great desperation because a danger, horrible and indescribable, lurks in the night. Oh, 
Hi, Maggie. Well? Well, I spoke to the sheriff. Uh, and he didn't know anything, right? Unfortunately, he's checking around. Always checking, always investigating, and he never comes up with anything. What's the matter? Now, I've seen her, you've seen her, and other people have seen her. Now, what's the matter? Why can't he find her? It's a small town. She's got to be around here somewhere. She is, Maggie. She is. Looks like she disappeared into thin air. a time of suspicion, a time when trust has slipped away into the darkness and doubts run high. There are those who find the finger of suspicion pointed at them, and they react with a sudden fear of exposure. seem very uneasy tonight. I'm not really. What was that you injected into me? Oh, a drug that will speed up the change in the cellular structure of your blood. Well, I hope it works, because I'm growing very impatient. I watched the point of the needle as you placed it into my vein. It was very shaky, doctor. Not any more than usual. It was quite a lot more than usual. Now, why are you so nervous tonight? I, I, I'm not. I told you. Oh, doctor, you must give me credit for more sensitivity than that. Something's bothering you. Something that I should know. I want to know what it is you're hiding. But I, I'm not hiding anything. I will not go for lies. Oh! Now, what is it that you're hiding from me? Tell me! Tell me right now! <laughs> It is twilight, and the walls of Collinwood are bathed in a curious half-light. Soon, day will subside into night, but now they coexist. There are moments in time when the past and the present seem to coexist. Moments when the land of the living and the land of the dead seem to merge. For one man, this is such a moment. standing right here at the window. You couldn't have seen her. Well, I'm telling you, I did. Well, she's not here now. Oh, I know. Well, when I shouted at her, she disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. She disappeared. Right into thin air. 